Chapter 44 Expert Secret Leverage Testimonial Videos It sounds simple, but only one in five freelancers at most is doing it. Why? I don't know, maybe people are too shy asking their clients for video testimonials? I only know that the combination video plus testimonial converts like crazy. Videos engages people like nothing else on the web. Think about it. Video contains all elements of a strong message. Audio, image, movement and text. It's far superior in terms of engagement and conversion rates compared to text only. On the other hand, people trust other people. They don't trust you and your business because they know that you want to sell them stuff. So your clients know that you will present yourself from your best side. Essentially, you can tell them whatever you want, but there's no way for your clients to verify it. While, it's, while this sounds like a problem for your clients, it's much more your problem. If clients are not 100% sure that they can trust the quality and professionalism of your services, they are unlikely to buy. The only way of overcoming this is to leverage testimonials. Testimonials and, to a large extent, celebrity endorsements are scientifically proven to increase customer conversion and trust. Now combine the engagement boost of video with the trust of testimonials and you get one of the most powerful marketing weapons in existence. How can you, as a software developer, use this strategy to convert more clients? Simple. Ask every single client you work for to send you a video testimonial. Nowadays many people are comfortable recording selfie videos, so the barrier is low. And many clients will be happy to help you out. I observed compliance rates of 40% and higher when working as a freelance developer. That is, if you give value first and solve the gig satisfactory. But how do you get to the first video testimonial if you don't have any clients? Simple. Work for free. Seriously, the value of your first few freelancing gigs will be mainly in the experience, the testimonials and the client base. The value is not in monetar monetary compensation, so it's a reasonable choice to skip the monetary reward altogether for the first few freelancing jobs. However, after you get your first video testimonials, you should radically ramp, ramp up your hourly rate to avoid getting stuck in low paying jobs. Action step. Ask each client to give you a video testimonial. Put this on your gig checklist of things to do after each gig to streamline and optimize your value delivery system. Create a video testimonial page on your own website. Chapter 45 Expert Secret Get the referral engine rolling If you follow the tips outlined before, you will quickly get more and more clients. But don't stop there. You must increase the demand for your services as long as you live. Why? Because you leverage one of the oldest principles of capitalism, supply and demand. Increase the demand while keeping the supply cons constant and prices begin to rise. Your prices. The median number of friends of a Facebook user is 99. So every client gives you indirect access to 99 more people. A handful of those clients are potential customers for you. Think about it. Business owners tend to befriend other business owners. If you get the referral engine going, you will quickly have a super high demand for your services. You will choose the clients for which you work. Thus, you will be able to de decline projects that you don't like or that pay poorly. The key question you should always ask is, how can I get the referral engine going? A few simple things will move the needle. First, ask. Ask every client whether the he knows someone who'd be interested in your service. Do this in addition to asking for the testimonial video. Of course, you shouldn't do both at the same time, but if you work together with a client for several projects or several weeks, you can spread your requests out, giving a lot of value in between. Second, gift cards. Give your clients gift, gift cards to be used for your next freelancing service. This one is huge. If you give your client a $50 gift card for your services, he'll feel the strong desire to take you up on the offer. Nobody likes giving away free money. Do you? Third, email tactics. Every successful business is long-term oriented. Focusing on the long-term is one of the Amazon's founding principles and it helped make Amazon the largest retailer in the world. So what are some long-term tactics you can implement in the blink of an eye? Send all your customers an email at least once per month. You can use a professional email management system, MailChimp or just an Excel spreadsheet. Your list of former clients will become your most valuable asset. 
Treat it as such and take care of your customers. Send them birthday or Christmas e-cards, ask them how it's going in their business and foster communication as much as possible. There are many more tactics to ensure that customers of your freelance developer business are encouraged to refer more clients to you. But the best strategy is to provide awesome service. Give them great code, answer any of their messages and ask them if everything's all right. And clients will come back and refer you to their friends. Action steps. Outline your referral engine on a piece of paper. Why would clients refer you to other clients? Chapter 46. Expert secret. Give, 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 right hook. This is a title of a popular book of social media guru Gary Wee. There is some truth to it. To build a warm relationship with your customers, users and business clients as a freelance developer, you must first give. The more you give, the more you receive. Don't be pushy and try to receive first. Don't ask for a raise before you haven't proven that you're worth it. Don't negotiate hard before you haven't given value to the other party. Of course, you can violate those rules, but it'll bring you no good. As a freelance developer, you're in the people business, not just a coding business. You must learn to handle people. And if people sense that you're in it only to extract maximum value for yourself, they will start to push against you. On the other hand, if you have the other person's best interest at heart, they will usually recipro reciprocate and have your best interest at heart too. Some people will indeed rip you off, but you cannot protect yourself against it by ripping off other people. This will only increase the likelihood of it happening. Action steps. Brainstorm and write down 20 things you can do to give value to your clients in advance. Author's note, I always like these lists of 20 things because it forces you to think. So you can easily come up with, say, 5, 6, 7 things. But then uh, if you go to 8, 9, 10, 11, it becomes very hard. And like pushing, pushing yourself to 20 points uh, will, often, um, will often require that you go all out and bring in your whole creativity to the game and think outside the box just to get down to 20 things. That's why I like lists of 20 things. End of author's note. Include at least three of them in your acquisition and lead generation process. Chapter 47. Expert secret. Befriend colleagues. This is a no-brainer. Your colleagues are also freelance developers. If you, if you have many of them as friends, it may easily happen that you can ignore all other tips listed here and still thrive in your coding business. Why? Because they will refer business your way, give you invaluable advice, show you what works to acquire clients and what doesn't, and teach you all the industry-specific tips and tricks that they've learned over the years. The most effective strategies are often easy to do, but they are also easy not to do. Be the one who does them relentlessly. How can you befriend a lot of freelance developers if you currently don't know a single one? Here are some tips. Action steps. Invest 10 to 20 minutes in LinkedIn to connect with peers and potential clients and give value where you can. With this attitude, friendships will emerge quickly. Go to local startup meetings. This will help you increase your local community. Rarely will you develop deep friendships 100% online. Go to technical talks and conferences in the area of computing and software engineering. Search for partners who want to build a thriving freelance developer business with you. This is the most prolific thing you can do to boost your speed of building a thriving coding business and winning lifelong relationships. Use any channel there is, including Facebook groups, to find possible partners for your business. Visit co-working spaces to find possible partners. Chapter 48. Expert secret. On investing. Investing is the most natural thing in the universe. Trees invest energy into seeds. Parents invest time, money and sleepless nights into their children. Companies invest in employees. States invest in public school systems. They invest because they expect growth in the, of their investments. The one who invests more and invests smarter has a huge stru structural advantage. This is true for species, states and corporates corporations alike. It's also true for Python coders. So what is the best way to invest as a Python programmer? There are fundamentally different ways you can invest as a Python coder. 
Here are the best wa ways of investing something now in order to get more back later. Invest learning time now to save much more debugging time later. The more you learn the basics, the less time you'll spend debugging and solving problems. Any minute you use sharpening your skills now will come back to you many times over. As Abraham Lincoln said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. Learn in Python is your way to sharpen your axe. Invest money in the right learning material. For example, say you want to create your own thriving coding business. You can spend thousands of hours figuring out how to do it or, and you'll be smarter after you have failed again and again. Or you can spend a few hundred bucks on learning material. Decide for yourself. Invest in your network and your credibility. This one is huge. The return on investment is much higher than anything else. Give everything you have and don't worry about it. The world rewards people who are willing to give more than they receive. Becoming loved and respected in your community is one of the most important things you can do, especially in the Python community, where people help and assist each other like no other programming language. Invest in a good computer and internet connection. The, v the value of time is much higher than the value of money. If you have time, you can always get more money. But the reverse doesn't hold true. You cannot, you cannot necessarily get more time by giving up money. Well, sometimes you can. By investing in a fast notebook and a fast internet connection, you'll work, say, 10% faster. It'll cost you less than $2,000 per year. Although earning $50,000 per year as a Python developer in the US can be seen as minimum wage. This investment would still return $5,000 per year, per year against the $2,000 invested. And the more you earn, the higher you re your return on investment. Invest 8 hours in your daily sleep and recreation. By sleeping properly, you can easily be 20% more productive. An additional benefit is that you'll be less prone to errors, which is especially important for coders. Every bug can cost you tens of hours of debugging time. And much more if your users find it first. You have to sleep anyway, and there's nothing to gain by reducing your sleep time. So sleep longer and optimize your sleep quality. Invest 10% of everything you earn. This is the traditional advice on how to invest, and it's sound. All the wealth you will ultimately acquire will be the one you have saved rather than spent on goods. By investing 10% of all capital that flows through your hands, you'll build yourself a growing capital base that increases by the amount you contribute and its appreciation in value. The smartest way to invest capital is to buy and hold a broad index fund. It's a mathematical necessity that, over time, you'll beat even world-class investors with this simple strategy. Proof sketch. Divide the world into active and passive investors. Active investors trade a lot. Passive investors simply hold their portion of all companies in the world. As a group, passive investors will match the index. As a group, active investors match the index minus the cost for trading. The expected return of a passive investor thus is higher than that of an active investor. End of proof. proof. <laughs> These are only a few examples of how you can benefit from the idea of investing in yourself as a Python programmer. Action steps. Write down how you will invest and create an automatic investment system. For example, set up a saving plan, savings plan into an exchange trading fund owning a broad world index of diversified stocks. This is not investment advice. Only you can know what suits your needs and risk profile best. Just save money. Chapter 49. Expert Secret. Leave freelancing platforms. As a freelance developer, you can get a lot of traction on general freelancing platforms such as Upwork, Freelancer.com or Fiverr and developer-specific platforms such as Topcoder. Check out which one is best for you. However, these platforms are generally expensive. It's not part of a sound business strategy to rely forever on a third-party platform to send clients your way. You'll not only pay 20% of your income for platforms such as Upwork, but you'll also lose control of your clients and pricing strategy. Upwork can also kick you off their platform. And you could lose the business in minutes that took you years to build. The best defense is to use and not to get used by these freelancing platforms. Get a list of clients fast and then build from there. 
Move the contract to the outside. Earn more money and gain total control sooner, not later. Action steps. Ask your best repeat customer to work with you outside of a freelancing platform. Chapter 50. Expert secret. Maximize control and payout. How can you optimize your earning potential and control? You create your own platform. For example, set up a WordPress page where you offer your details and service offerings. You retain 100% of the control over your income, your projects and even your testimonials. The sky is the limit. You can earn hundreds of dollars per hour if you are smart about it. However, there is also the need for you to market your services. You need to install a marketing funnel. For example, you attract potential customers using Facebook ads. Then you set up a landing page with a lead magnet so that they are motivated to give you their email address. Finally, you nurture your leads and send them tons of value via email, thereby building a relationship with them. While this all may seem complicated, it is the most profitable long-term strategy. But in the short term, most people should gain experiences and testimonials on the freelancing platforms and then gradually shift their focus towards their own platform as they get to know more and more clients. So these are the three potential career paths for you. Action steps. Do you want to sell your services on your own platform? Set, a, set up your WordPress page now. You can optimize it later as you see fit, but set it up now.